Welcome back, everyone. Toysius here, and I am back in again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. We are totally checking out their brand new wave of Toonie Terrors featuring Sam and, of course, my personal favorite, Beetlejuice from the line, and Reagan and Victor Crowley. Very cool to see these Toonie Terrors, if you're not familiar. Bring the fun of Saturday morning cartoons to your horror collection with these adorable little creeps. Pick your favorites or collect them all and make every day Toonie Terror time. That's actually what I'm doing. I'm picking and choosing. They were nice enough. They sent over Beetlejuice, but then they were like, here, here's the whole wave. Take a look. This one is Reagan, obviously, from the Poltergeist. Here's everyone involved, so thank you to that for making these figures happen. Sam, right, from Trick or Treat, one of my favorite Halloween movies now. It's one of the most recent, of course, but it's very cool. Victor Crowley from the Hatchet franchise as well very cool backdrop you can cut all these out by the way which i will be doing and of course beetlejuice it's showtime maybe he looks great i saw him last year on display at new york toy fair I wanted him ever since because i want to put him with my kenner beetlejuice figures this is gonna be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee or a terrifying cup of coffee whatever you want this is a look at the brand new toonie terrors by neca toys and here's all these terrific little Toonsters out of their packaging. And as you can see, they're detailed. Now, this is my first time having Toonie Terrors. Beetlejuice will be, to, I hope I didn't first. He's my first figure. I think he's awesome for what it is. Now, these are very much limited articulated, more so just artistic pieces to put within your collection. Almost like Scooby-Doo type art, as I've seen a lot of people put them with various Scooby-Doo action figures, but they are painted nicely, and some of them come with accessories, and one of them in particular, which came with more accessories. See if you can guess which one, but I gotta give it to them. They're very bright, very colorful, they're fun. Again, limited articulation, but it doesn't detract from the fact of this is a nice gift for someone. If you're looking, if you know they buy action figures or something, hey, show them you know what's what, get them this, and I think they'd be really stoked. Just depends on which character. I mean, obviously, if they've been afraid of it their whole life, they're not gonna like a Reagan showing up, or maybe a Victor Crowley, of course, but Sam, adorable little guy, right? If you've not seen Trick or Treat, please go and see that movie immediately. But he comes with his little pumpkin sucker right there with always with the bite taken out of it, slashed in throats, and you got the bag of candy. Make sure to leave out candy or else Sam is a coming for you. I like the little butt flap is down on one side. It's like very red stiffy to me. But I just like the silhouettes, the look of the character. It's very much like an animated maquette, so to speak. He has an alternate swap out head as well. Everything just boom, pops right off. Put this one on easy peasy. The paint is gorgeous on him. They feel good. They're a little heavy in some instances. Just depends on the character. But Sam is very nice from the patches to the accessories. You're not going to go wrong with old Sam. And of course, next up is everyone's favorite piece, Soup Ruiner, Regan, or Reagan from The Exorcist. Nice spewage of green goo, right? That famous scene. God dang, that movie. It's still, it's a bizarre movie. I mean, it's a great movie, but God, it still, it still holds up. It's freaky. Pazuzu is freaky. The whole thing is weird and everything else but she's got slices and dices all over her face and i love the side portrait where it's just blah you know what i mean like just massive gobs of goo and that is also removal i just want to have her screaming which is equally as terrifying looking at that green tongue and all little mess of green all over the swap out heads are pretty cool i like that they gave us two alternate forms of the character and this one's equally as terrifying put her in a flight stand have her hover around you got yourself a nice exorcist figure. Now next up is one of the characters that I'm not too familiar with. I know this is Victor Crowley. I know that he comes from the Hatchet franchise. He's got the slice in the middle where you got hit in the face with the Hatchet, everything else. This is a nice looking figure. I think it's a very elegant looking figure. I like all the grease stains all over his overalls. I like that he comes with an accessory, a weapon. It's removable, the big Hatchet, hence the name. But Every part of him is gross and disgusting, and they brought it to life, especially in the hair, the missing hair particles. He's just got bumps, and it's gross. It's a gross-looking figure, but it's a really nicely done figure. Head rotates, hands, arms. I think you're going to like this hatchet figure if you're a fan of the franchise. And then finally, the ghost with the most, he is back. Beetlejuice, baby, in this one. 
It kind of resembles Keaton, but I could see why they might be wanting to go a little bit more cartoony, you know, likeness-wise. The paint on him is fantastic. You don't see a lot of Beetlejuices these days with just Beetlejuice. And he's in his black and white attire. That's the look we always want. This is Beetlejuice to me, and this is what I like to see. The face is well done. It's painted nicely. The hair is great. Everything about this. Just a little bit more articulation would have been fantastic. But, hey, I'm happy to have this Beetlejuice, and he's going to go really nice with my Kenner Beetlejuice figures. Yeah, he looks good. He's a little bit taller than the old Kenner ones, but he fits in nicely. <laughs> Especially if you want to have fun with other figures. Relax, it's going to be okay. The Beetlejuice old-fashioned Kenner stuff works well with him. I mean, just putting him, if you don't have any other figures, but you got this tomb, put him in a flight stand hovering around. I like this. This is fantastic. This is what I wanted. This is what I thought of when I saw the figure, and it looks great to finally kind of pair them up, put them inside the coffin. It's fantastic. Here lies Beetlejuice. And I've been bugging NECA, and here's your chance. If you want to see Beetlejuice, the cartoon animated series from the 90s, and have them do figures, comment below. Tell them you want to see it, because I want to see it. That would be awesome. With what they did with the Back of the Future animated and what they're doing with Ninja Turtles, they would absolutely nail it. So again, if you want to see Beetlejuice animated figures, tell them in the comments below. If you don't, it's totally cool, but I want to see them. If you are wondering how they kind of pair with other figures, other lines, now they are in that six inch realm, of course. Victor Crowley being the tallest of this particular wave. But yeah, you can see various lines, other brands, other companies, they'll fit in nicely for what you want to do, but they are very cartoony, so to speak. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new wave of Toonie Terrors by NECA Toys. And again, thank you to NECA for sending these over. These are not exactly my thing. I will be picking and choosing which ones I get going forward. Now, like I said, these are my first endeavors into it. I started with Beetlejuice. I really like Sam. I like Regan. I think that's cool. Victor Crowley doesn't do much for me in terms of nostalgia or just fandom. I don't, I haven't really seen those movies. So in that sense, it's not a bad figure at all. It's just not something that I would automatically pick up. But for those fans of the franchise, definitely. I think that the Exorcist one is fun because of the spewage. I think Sam is great. He's really painted nicely. The oranges, the yellows really pop and he looks great. Beetlejuice, of course, is my favorite. I think that's the one that everyone's going to want to get. But in either case, I think these are fun. These are a different sort of endeavor. Don't expect a ton of articulation. The hands, the arms, and the head is the basic movement. I like that they come with extra accessories, some weapons. And I would have liked Beetlejuice to come with a few more as well. The snakes out of the head, you know, something like that, or powers, or Something would have been good. Anything, to be quite honest with you. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these Toonie Terrors. Have you picked them up? Are they for you? Will you be getting any of these? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Toonie Terrors. What characters would you like to see coming up, huh? What horror movies? Pick one. Pick, pick one. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, don't be scared of these toys. They're just fun little horrible Tony terrors they're not gonna hurt you much and when they do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios